Hey there, Graham. Good to see you. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I got a hand that was um, got a good question about it. Uh, thank you, Deb Daniels, for playing this hand and let us know about it. Um, Graham, I was hoping you could help us through the auction. We're faced with a decision early on, and um, sure. I'm hoping that you can help us through. I'm set up uh, standard five card majors, strong one no trump openings. So let us know. Okay. How that might affect things. Okay. So it doesn't affect things. If you're playing alcohol or standard, it's the same. So this is a hand for everybody. So one, we have 14 high card points. By the way, do, just as an aside, mm. you know how I counted those points so quickly? <laughs> No, Graham. It's one of the many things I don't know how you do so quickly. <laughs> well, notice that I've got there's a there's the I kind of mentally saw the ace queen jack of hearts. Yeah. And I noticed the king of spades. Yeah. So that's an ace and a king and a queen and a jack. That's ten points. Ah, right. Yeah. One ace, one king, one queen, one jack, that's ten. So I kind of saw those four cards, so that's 10, and, and then I added the ace of spades, that's 14. Right? Patterns and combinations. Yeah, well, it's just all these things, they just, just, they just save your brain power. That's 14 <laughs> points. You know, half the room's still counting up the points, and I'm <laughs> that's 14. Mm. Okay, so 14 points, East opens one club. Uh, so yeah, two. so what, what do we do here? And I think um, people playing it were torn between two, uh, two choices. And the two choices were? I believe take out double yep. or just bidding, uh, bidding one heart. Okay. So what would a take out double show? A take out double would be asking partner to, it would force partner to bid and to choose an unbid suit. What kind of strength would a takeout double tell partner we have? Uh, 12 or more points, opening sort of hand. So we've got that. Does, does it promise stoppers in all of the other suits? No, it promises length and the unbid suits. Length and the unbid suits. And, and at least strength. strength. Right. What you're saying is whatever your partner bids, you're guaranteed, mm. you're promising that you've got some support for anything. And by support, at least three cards. Huh. So here, that's what we've got. We've shortened clubs and we've got four diamonds, we've got five hearts, and we've got three really good spades. Mm. So we could double and whatever partner bids, we're happy with. Mm. Or, or we could overcall one heart, which would just say we have a strong heart suit, a strong five card heart suit. Yep. And up to about 16, 15, 16, 17 points. Ah, it could be that strong. Oh yeah, it, it's, it's still. Huh. Yep. So, so, and it does show, an overcall would show a good five card suit. So mm. if we have one heart here, we would be saying I've got five or more hearts, good good five card suit, and up to about 15, 16, maybe 17 points. And that's what we've got. So either double or one heart, either of those would be fine. It sounds like they both describe what we have pretty accurately. Sure. And, um, you know, some maybe someone will say, oh, no, you absolutely have to double on that hand or you absolutely have to bid one heart. Mm. I think the one's fine. If you want to double on that hand, that's great. Mm. If you want to bid one heart on that hand, that's fine. Either way, they, they both describe the hand well. Okay. I've got if, a, if we were to double, I, I, I thinking selfishly, I, I would rather play in hearts than in diamonds. If partner were to respond with a diamond bid, are we, like, can we bid again? Or is it really something that we're... A takeout double is is trusting partner to choose. Yeah, if you if you go the takeout double way, you've got to respect partner's decision. Mm. 
if you're saying I've got, uh, if you double and partner bids something and then you change the suit, hmm. that's something different. Hmm. That's actually showing a very strong hand. So if you're going to double, then trust partner. Don't, don't go messing around after that. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean that's that's a good reason to bid one heart because if you do bid one diamond, your partner does bid one diamond, you'll be thinking, oh, shame about those hearts, <laughs> isn't it? Hmm. So I, I, I bid one heart on that hand too. I, I, I'd, I'd rather show that five card heart suit. Uh, all right, let's give it a shot. And um, for anyone watching it, um, let us know what you would do. All right, West bids again and partner passes. Okay, now I've already shown my five card heart suit. Hmm. So I, I am definitely not going to bid two hearts. Don't give partner the same info twice. Right. Nice, Bajir. That's it. That's it. You've already. That's a few it. things stay stay up here. I think no. one out of five or ten. Good. Don't tell. What did you say again? Don't tell partner the same thing twice. Yeah. Right. So you've already shown the five card heart suit. Hmm. That's it. Uh, but I'm not that keen on defending two clubs either. Ooh 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 ooh. ooh. Could we take out double now? Nice. We, yeah, that'll be, we could. Because partner knows that we don't have a super strong hand. Because if we had a super strong hand, we would have started with a double. Mm. And we don't want to defend two clubs you know, letting the opposition play in two clubs just isn't going to be a good. We only have them. we have one club and such pretty cards and other shoes. Well, it's even it's even just not it's not a it's not so much our hand. It's just that auction. If the bidding goes one club, two clubs, and the opposition are trying to play in two clubs, mm, it's just mm. not going to be a good score for us. Mm. So uh, we could double and. Uh, partner can still bid spades or diamonds or maybe get belated heart support. Mm. Um, we could bid two diamonds here, showing the four-card diamond suit. Mm. Seems a shame not to show that ace, king, and ten of spades looks pretty good. Mm. Uh, I'm, the only thing is I'm slightly nervous. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what the computer thinks double is. Just click on <laughs> Click on the double and and then hover over it and see what it says. Uh, no, the computer doesn't recognize. That's a little tip there if you're playing. Uh -huh. you, if you hover over a bid, mm. you make it, it'll tell you what the computer thinks. So the computer moment. wouldn't be sure if this was a, a takeout double or a penalty double. Right. Negative, okay. uh, negative or penalty. Uh, takeout or penalty. Uh, takeout or penalty. So here, as much as I want to double, I think uh, I'm just going to have mm. to bid two diamonds. But if you're playing with a regular um, partner, then mm. this is a good situation to discuss. Mm. And double if they if they bid one club and then two clubs, double really should be takeout because we don't want to be defending that. Mm. But two diamonds is a fair second choice here. Mm. Keep in mind that partners probably got some clubs over there. Because if you're short in clubs, mm. you probably have them. And East and West are definitely tiptoeing up. But here, at least we get them up a level. Right. Is and that as far as we go? That's it. We, because we've already, there's nothing more to say. That's it. Great. So we're defending three clubs. That's better than defending two clubs. Hmm. What to lead? Not going to lead a club because it just doesn't seem right. Hmm. Not going to lead a heart because we want if we want that ace to capture the king of hearts. If we play the mm -hmm. ace, it's going to go low, low, low. We want hearts led to us. Yep. Hmm. 
if East has got the King of Hearts, we want to sit and wait so that mm, we, mm. Play the king, we can play the Ace. Mm. So uh, we could lead the Ace of Spades, which seems okay, or we could lead a little Diamond, either one. I don't, either one's fine. Well, does a little Diamond promise an honor or just suggest? Uh, no, good point. We probably should lead a higher diamond here, lead the seven of diamonds. Partner already knows that we've got a four card diamond suit. So Now, it, it, what would be the reason not to lead uh, Ace of Spades? Well, we again, it's, we, we could, and we get a chance to look at the dummy and decide what to do next. But there is a slight danger that Suppose East has got the Queen and Jack of Spades, which is quite possible. Mm. Uh, it's just going to go low, low, low. So mm. we're not uh, we're not going to get we're not going to win any we're not going to capture an honor if we play the Ace of Spades. It'll be a winner sooner or later. Right. Yeah. I'm, I, honestly, I'm tempted to. I think I'd rather lead a diamond. But if you'd let this, I'm not saying I'm right, but no. uh, I'm, I'm guessing to lead a diamond. If you want to lead the ace of space, that's fine. But I'd lead a diamond. All right. Okay. Now hold. Now this is an interesting point. So uh, here's a good little defensive. When you're leading a suit with a seat with a sequence of honors, you you normally lead the top card of the sequence. So, for example, if I had Queen Jack, I would lead the Queen to promise right. the Jack. When you're following suit with a sequence of honors, you play the low card of the sequence. That's very useful here. Because mm. he's, when North plays the Jack of Diamonds, mm. one thing we know for sure is that North does not have the Ten of Diamonds. Mm. Because if North had Jack Ten of Diamonds, he mm. would play Ten. Right. right. That Jack denies the Ten because North is following suit. So we know that um, East has got the Queen and the Ten of Diamonds, quite possibly the Ace too. So this is this is all good. Mm -hmm. East has a Ten of Diamonds. All those little clues you get to play with, Paul, <laughs> and just click away. And Man. look at that spade suit. This is I'm kind of pleased we didn't lead a spade here because mm. uh, East might have the Queen Jack of Spades, and I don't think. We've still got the Ace King later if we want them, so mm. this is good. Eight, ten, small. Okay. You think partnership is leading back what we led? Yep, that's all fine. So we can just play low here. It's looking likely that I I think. Uh, East has East played the ten there, so I think East probably started with Ace Ten, um, Queen Ace Queen Ten of Diamonds. Mm. I strongly suspect. Okay, so we uh, let's let's pitch the two of hearts here. And hmm, let's throw hmm, I think we can afford to throw a heart. Ace of hearts, queen of hearts. No, we better throw a diamond. I just wanna I'm a bit nervous about throwing the hearts in case West in case Declara sets up the heart suit. Four of hearts. Well, no reason not to take this. Let's take the Ace of Hearts. And let's play the Nine of Diamonds. 
see if we were right about that diamond suit. Yep. Wow. Uh, now we've got to play the Jack of Hearts now. Otherwise, the clearer we're might following suit. We want to play low. The, the lower of the sequence. Oh, three of spades. Uh, so he started with four hearts. Oh, hang on. So, sorry, he started with three hearts. Five, four, three, one. So East has got only one more heart left. So East started with, looks like, five clubs, three, and a couple of spades. All right, so we can throw the seven of hearts now. And ten of spades. And... Now we're just going to get those tricks. So it probably didn't matter too much what we did on this hand. I think we were. But what did make all the difference was getting them up one more level. Right. Yeah, that's a good score for us. So, yeah. With the card play here, I mean, we could have played this hand and just played it on autopilot. Mm. Um, would have come to the same result. Uh oh. We might have just lost Graham. Oh, lost Graham for a second, but uh, he's back on his phone. Thanks, Graham. Sorry, I ran out of power. We were talking about playing that hand on autopilot, and by that I mean we could have just led the ace of spades, and on this hand it probably wouldn't have made any difference. Mm. Uh, but next hand it might make a difference so we've, we're still fighting for every trick we're still trying to figure out what everyone's got and it's not a waste of time we're getting we're getting into the habit of of trying to under, trying to work out what the opposition have got and often it will make a difference not mm. on every hand but often it will make a difference and you will get an extra trick and you will get a better score. Hmm. And it's more fun. Hmm. And once again, it's helpful hearing that that first decision we had to make, do we want a takeout double or do, do we want to overcall? Sometimes we just have to make the best guess we can when right. it isn't clear that one isn't better than the other. Yeah. I, I mean, you could uh, ask your teacher or some really good player and they'll have some reason why you should do something or the other but i don't know for me it's just i don't know I just, one heart looks okay double looks okay i don't know <laughs> what can i say <laughs> well thank you graham thank you everyone for joining if uh uh and deb daniels thanks again for um commenting on this hand uh especially for folks who end up playing hands uh, beyond the, the first 10 of the daily deals, um, leave a comment. Let us know if you come across something interesting. Cool. Yeah, thanks, Deb Daniels. You're a star. No, yeah, sure so, is. So, you're so good to have you on the site. Thank you. Uh, that's the truth. Till next time. See ya. See you all.